Hello, my name is Journey, and today I will be reading to you We Are Water Protectors. This is by Carol Lindstrom and illustrated by Michaela Goad. Now, by looking at the cover of the book, what can you guess the story will be about? It seems, at, in the title, it says we, so it means that's a group of people, and it says water protectors, which means they're protecting the water from something. Now, why do you think the water needs protected? What do you think the water needs protected from? Let's find out. Water is the first medicine, Nakomi's told me. Now, Nakomi's means grandmother. That's how indigenous or Native American people say grandmother. We come from water. It nourishes us inside our mother's body. It nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. Sacred might be a word you never heard before. Sacred means to be connected with God. So by saying the water is sacred, she's saying that no one should be touching the water. It's special and shouldn't be put in harm's way. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. The river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. So now we know what is trying to destroy the water. S spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its plant path. By looking at this picture, what is the black snake doing? What is it doing to the plants and animals? When my people first spoke of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns through the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. So she said, take courage. Courage means to do something that other that frightens other people. So, so now she's trying to, she's getting the courage to fight this black snake. So what, so it doesn't destroy the land anymore. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. It will not be easy. How would you feel if the black snake was trying to destroy your water? We fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. The winged ones, the crawling ones. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, lakes. Why do you think they're fighting for this stuff? Why do you think they're fighting for animals? Because they need water as well. The earth. We are all related. Tears like waterfalls stream down, tracks down my face, tracks down my people's face. Why do you think they're crying? Water has its own spirit, Nakomi's told me. Water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us, she said. You can see the ancestors in this picture in the water. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life.
And that is the end. So now that I'm finished, how did this book make you feel? Did it make you feel sad, happy, upset? Now, also, how would you feel if the black snake was in your water, trying to destroy your land? Would you be upset? And that's the end. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you next time. Bye.